Here are the seven deadly sins for new road cyclists. The ones that you need to know in order to stay safe and be on top of your best performance. Hi, I'm Tony. Welcome to Legworks, the channel for cycling addicts. Deadly sin number one is not abiding to a few golden rules while in traffic. After all, you're riding a road bike. That means you are on a public road. So pay attention what happens on the road. Always keep in mind, even if you have right of passage, in case of an impact, you most likely lose. Try to keep on the side of the road, but don't go too close to parking cars, as doors might open of a sudden. Sin number two, wearing underwear. Cycling shorts and underwear don't go well together because cycling shorts are made of special material. They're supposed to be tight on the skin to not restrict any movement. They should feel like a second skin. Inside, they have special materials and padding, which we call a chamois. They're supposed to reduce friction and irritation to the skin. Sin number three is going on the ride without proper planning. And I'm not talking about commuting here. I'm talking about a training ride or your first Grand Fondo. It's vital to know where are you going, what are the conditions going to be, how is the weather going to be, and when does the sun set. Imagine taking a round trip and you're just 50% through and you're having a puncture or you're running out of energy. You still need to complete the other 50% and you don't want to do that at nightfall. When planning a ride, make sure you don't overestimate yourself, your strength or your stamina. I recommend using tools like Strava or Komoot to plan your ride well ahead. Those tools will tell you about the conditions you may face, but they will also give you an estimate of how long it will take you to ride the whole trip. Sin number four, not fueling properly before a ride. Cycling burns calories, so we need to stock up those calories while you're eating food that is high in carbohydrates. It's especially important to properly fuel before longer rides. Once your glycogen stores are depleted, you will feel a lightheadedness and wobbly, which will make it very unsafe to stay on the bike. This effect is also known as bonking. To avoid bonking, you can do two things. First, before a ride, make sure you eat food that are high in carbohydrates, maximum up to one hour before the ride. And then, while you're riding, constantly eat or have gels, especially if you ride longer than one and a half hours. I recommend starting latest after the first hour and then refuel every 30 minutes. Sin number five is riding without a spare tire and tools. A classic is leaving for a ride without a spare tire and then having a puncture. Or in my case, leaving with a spare tire and having two punctures. Since then, I'm always taking two extra tires. But it's a little bit different if you're riding tubeless. Just make sure you have a repair kit. When it comes to tools, I recommend such a multi-tool that goes nicely in your saddlebag. And when it comes to tires, make sure you have some levers that you can use to replace your tubes with. Sin number six is not knowing your gears or your cadence. Well, it seems kind of obvious, but it's an art that needs mastering. We all know that it's not healthy for the chain to run on the largest chain ring and the largest cock at the same time, or vice versa. Try to experiment with your cadence. Some of us, they feel more comfortable with a lower cadence, while others with a higher cadence. See what you feel most comfortable with, and then try to ride the entire time at the same cadence while shifting through the gears and finding the right gear ratio at all time. Sin number seven, not looking after your bike. Everyone owning a car knows that it needs to be taken to the service every once in a while. Your bike is no different. There are lots of smaller moving parts that need constant checking, maintenance and maybe replacement. There would be the tires, the brakes, the drivetrain and the chain. Full service intervals can be longer. However, the smaller parts, they need to be checked on a more regular basis. For instance, I'm relubing and cleaning my chain every 300 kilometers and I'm riding in dry conditions mostly. I'm replacing the tires every two and a half thousand to three thousand kilometers and the chain roughly every three to five thousand kilometers. These were the seven deadly sins for new road cyclists. You know more? Write them down in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and see you soon.